hello friends welcome in this video i'm going to work with the forms so here we are in the post and i'm going to add a navigation to go to the post create but first we need to see if we have that route so if we navigate in the roads here web roads and uh, in the road resource we have only the index and show so if i run the PHP artisan route list, we can see we have the get post and post.index and also the get post slash and post to show the single post, post.show. But also we need the create, so we need post create and also the post store to store a new post. For that, instead of saying here, uh create and also the store i'm going to remove all of them and have all the actions we need so if i save now remove that and save and run again that post route list we can see now we have post index post store post create and so on now we have the post create let's go in the resources views in the components we have created this mine layout in the previous video and here we have a header before the header i'm going to add a div with a class margin 2 and padding 2 and here i'm going to add some links so let's say ul i'm going to add the class flex and add li and here i'm going to add a link to go to the route post dot index okay so we have this route here post dot index which return us to this slash post okay here we have post and post index and also the post controller method index inside is responsive for this route now here i'm going to say just post and let's copy this one and duplicate and say now create post or i'm going to say new post and this route is going to be post slash uh sorry post dot create and uh, let's also give it some links some classes here so i'm going to add a class margin two and padding two and i'm going to add bg indigo 200 the same thing to this one if i save it and let's go now here and refresh and yeah we can see that we have two links here if we go to the, this new post we don't we have an empty because in the http controllers in the post controller this create method is not doing nothing right now so now this create method is responsive for the post slash create route this create method is going to return only the form so the blade show the form so let's say return the view pose and i'm going to create the create blade here okay and you can see we have returning the view post dot create not post slash create okay we have this dot as a separator instead of slash and now let's go inside the views we have a post here 
inside this post folder, I'm going to, I'm going to create that create.blade.php. And uh, let's copy what we have in the index. I'm going to copy them and paste it here. Now in the slot header, I'm going to say create new post. And let's remove this card because here is going to be the or. Okay, if I save now and come here and refresh, yeah, we have the links and here we have create new post, which is coming from here, the header slot. Here we have a form and the footer. Now in the form, I'm going to add the form. So let's add the div with class max with md i'm going to say mx auto and margin top to be 12. okay and here we need to add the form if i say form here now the method is going to be post the action is going to point to the road Post.store. Okay. Let's close the form. And what we need for we need the title and the body for our uh, post. So let's say I'm going to add the div and inside this div add a label for title. And after that, add the input with type text. And we need to give it the name, which is going to be title. Okay, let's copy this one. And paste it down there. This one is going to be now a body. And let's say your name body. And the last one, we need to add the button. So let's paste that in, remove the label and on the input and say button with type submit. We add some classes, so bg indigo 500 margin 2 and padding 2 and say here create if i save it come here and refresh we have title body and create but uh, indigo like this i'm going to add a class here in the form let's add class the bbg slate 200 and padding 4. Okay, here we have the title and the body. It's not looking very nice. I'm going to uh, add some styles in the next video, but right now just to see the form. Also, let's add some class here. So, margin 2 and padding 2. The same thing. So let's copy and paste it here and refresh. And yeah, now it's more okay. So here we have a title and the body. And if I say now create, well, we have this 419 page expired. And that's it because Laravel, if you go to the Laravel documentation in the basics, we have this CSRF protection and you can go and read the documentation uh, thankfully laravel make it easy to protect your application from cross-site request forgery attacks so for every form we need to protect the form and in laravel we have this uh, csrf protection okay we need to include in every form 
uh, by adding the CSRF plate directive inside the form tag. So if we navigate in the create blade inside this form tag, we need to add the CSRF blade directive. So CSRF. Okay, and this one, this uh, blade directive, it will generate an input of type hidden with a token as a value. So if I save now this one and go back, let's refresh and I'm going to inspect the elements here in the four. Now we can see we have this input type hidden name underscore token and the value is the token. Okay. Now the token is then verified inside Laravel using the verify CSRF token middleware. Uh, we don't have worked with the middleware yet, but what is middleware? Middleware is a mechanism that filter requests going through your application. So in the app HTTP, we have controllers and here we can see we have also the middleware and here we have the verify CSRF token and this class extends the middleware. And if we open, we can see inside the handle method, we have this, this tokens match request and if the tokens match is going to go to the next request so enough about the csrf token we added here and if i say create now we redirected back nothing happened because in the post controller we have this store method which is responsive for the store road let's here we can see we have this request injected uh, illuminate request illuminate http request and this help us to read the data of our form input so if i say here uh, die and dump the request and change the all here let's save it and refresh again and if i say create now we can see we have all the data from that form we have a token we have a title and the body which are null right now because we don't add it nothing here so if i refresh and say something here something here let's say create again and now we can see we have a title and something in the title and something in the body. Now how we can get separately, for example, how we can get only the title. So if I say dollar sign title here, and this is, is going to be the request input now. And here in the input, we need to specify the input name. So here we added the name for the title. We added the title for the body, body. And if I say just here, input name title, and let's return here, dine dump the title. Okay, let's save it. Go back and if I refresh and say here, this is a title and let's say create now we have dine dump this is a title okay friends uh, that's it for this video hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best